happy Friday sewing friends. Welcome to Dorothy's daughter and welcome to Friday sewing school. We're continuing our skirt sew along uh, today. Um, first of all, I have a couple things I want to tell you. Um, first of all, thank you to all my new subscribers. There's been another influx of people and uh, we're building a great community here and I I am just thrilled beyond words. So thank you for that. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to be notified when I um, do new videos, please click the subscribe button below and click the bell so that you get a notification. All right, so another thing I would like to tell you, it is September and um, it is National Sewing Month. So in order to celebrate that, a few other ladies and I have gotten together um, to do tutorials on free patterns that you can download online. So um, Akram's Ideas, Akram is the one who organized this and she's doing a fabulous job. I'm going to put a graphic up here. There is actually five of us. There is Whitney Sews, Akram's Idea, myself, Elizabeth made this, and Penguin and Pear. And we all have our certain days in September. Uh, mine. mine is going to be the Colette Sorbetto blouse, which is a free pattern from Colette that you can download. Um, uh, Claire from Penguin and Pear is going to do the laundry day tea. Um, and Elizabeth uh, made this. She's already done hers and so has Akram. I'm going to put a link to the playlist that has all of our videos as they have, as they are added, um, so that you can follow along. And so I uh, just, there are some fabulous prizes too. So, so make sure you use that hashtag on Instagram so you can be entered to win the prizes. All right. So, um, I am going over sizing on the skirt today. Um, I'm going to do the measurements and then show you what I'm doing for me. Now you may not have to make the same adjustments. Yours may be completely different and there's no way I can show you every single adjustment. So what I'm asking is that if you don't understand um, what you need to do, please feel free to um, post a comment and I can show you specifically at the beginning next week or I can show you, I can explain to you online. Um, either way, I don't want your questions to go unanswered. So um, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is down below as well and I will help you in every conceivable way that I can. Okay, um, so after sizing the pattern, um, we will then be ready to cut out our pattern. So at the beginning of next week, be ready to uh, start sewing. All right, so you want two measurements for the skirt. The first one being your waistline. Now I've tied a piece of elastic around my waist and where that wants to sit, that is where your natural waistline is. Sometimes it's also where you would put your hands if you were standing like that. Um, also um, on your um, hip measurement, you want to find the fullest part of your hips. Okay. And you want to do those two measurements. So today mine is measuring like 39 and a half, I think. I'm not in the mirror, so I'll do this better for myself um, after this. But And then I want to measure at the hips, at my hips. And I'm getting 47 and a half. All right, so... Um, now the next thing I want to measure is, um, a lot of times skirts don't fit me because the fullness of the hips isn't in the right place. Sometimes it starts down lower than it should. So I am constantly hiking them up here, um, to get the fullness where I need it. So what you want to do is, uh, measure from the bottom of the waist, a measurement here or line there to this piece of elastic on the side and I would go to the bottom of that as well since to keep it consistent okay so I'm only getting six and a half this pattern calls for the hips to be nine inches below your waist let's see where nine inches would fall on me so the hip line would be way down here so I need to pull out some 
of that hip line. Um, so um, I have three inches that I really should remove um, in the sort of rise of the skirt um, in order for that to be, um, have the fullness of the hips where I need it. Now, um, you can make a muslin at this point and make sure. Um, I'm going to um, skip that step because I know how this is gonna fit me already. Um, I would highly advise though, if you get a number that's way out of whack with the pattern, um, make a muslin because then you'll know for next time too. Um, so yeah, I'm going to remove like overlap about an inch and a half of the rise of the skirt, which is going to make me have to add length to the bottom because it's already short. Um, so um, I'm going to do that as I do my measurements. And um, I'm going to take you now to the to my table and we will um, look at the um, sizes and um, grade them accordingly. Okay, so there's the front pattern piece. And according to the measurements, um, the hip is 48 for a size 22 and the waist is a 39. So I should be pretty good as far as the um, actual fit is concerned. All right, so now what I'm going to do, they have this line here, which is an adjustment for Miss Petite which I actually think that um, is probably what's kind of going on with this um, as far as I, I'm a petite structure from the waist down and fr long from the waist up. It's, it's weird, but um, I'm gonna grab my measuring tape. Okay, so the size 22, so let's just do center front. The size 22, nine inches down, which, well, which would be nine and five eighths inches down, that's where they want the fullness to be. Now, I deemed it's up here. So um, it shows you to adjust it here, but I'm gonna go up a little higher than that, and I'm gonna fold this over like that and now let me see how much I have this overlapped here hopefully you can see this all right so I have about an inch and a quarter which is about two and a half um, so I'm just gonna play it safe and kind of um, tape it there and see how we are Now you can see I'm gonna have to draw new lines over here. And then this should get the fullness in the right place for me. Okay, um, and I have to do the same thing. Oops, that's a little uneven. I want to do the same thing with the back piece that I'm doing with the front piece. Um, what I would do at this point if you know I would go ahead and adjust your back piece accordingly and if if you need to make adjustments lengthwise this is where I would go ahead and muslin um, I haven't changed the shape or the size of the waistband um, I have changed the length um, so you're gonna have to do the front and the back pieces um, so I would just go ahead and make a muslin at this point and see if the fullness is hitting you at the right spot. Um, and then once you've determined that, you have your pattern piece. Now, if you need to grade between sizes, what you would simply do is go ahead and gradually come out to a different line or into a different line. Um, okay, since I'm gonna make the size 22, um, and you see how this line is uneven here now? I'm just gonna go ahead and true that line up with a curved ruler. If I just 
hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just laying that up there and kind of blending it into that new line. So do you see how I have a new curvature there just because these didn't line up anymore, okay? And uh, that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my skirt now. Uh, the other thing I wanna check though is length. I prefer my skirts to be, oh, at least 18 inches long or 17 inches long at the side seam. So I'm just going to go ahead and make 17 and 5 eighths plus the hem. I'm going to go ahead and just be on the safe side and lower that just about as much as I took it out really. So let me go ahead and draw that new line for the length. This, is, this pattern piece has both the long and the short. Now if you're making the long skirt, um, you know, you probably, you'd have to add by adding paper down there. Okay, so I am going to just lengthen this. Um, now ordinarily I would add paper in here, but it's completely straight, so I'm just going to fold it over. So I'm just going to go down the two and a half inches that I added. Or that I took away, sorry. And I'm going to actually cut my skirt on that line. Okay. Now I need to do the same thing to the front piece as I've done to the back. Have not touched the curvature or anything on the waistline, um, but we should be good. I'm ready to cut out my skirt. Um, we've cut things out together before, so I think you can um, go ahead and uh, cut it out. Um, if your pattern, if your fabric is directional. Okay, y'all, I have a question. You see how this is black on green? And this is green on black. I think either one of these could be the right side. Which one would you make? I'm leaning towards having the black be the, the right side, but let me know in the comments what you think, black on green or green on black. Okay, so um, you're gonna wanna make sure if your pattern is directional, which this one is, you're gonna wanna make sure that you face the pattern pieces all going the same way. So, if I have this one on a fold, sorry, going this way, then I'm going to want to have the other one on the fold going the same direction. If you have enough, actually I'm going to have it go this way. If you have enough fabric, then you might want to, see I've turned the pattern piece down and the reason for that is I can still see the markings through it. But the reason for that is because, see how the, this fleur de lis points up? Well, I don't want those to point down. So um, I either have to turn the fabric over or turn the pattern piece over. So um, I just fold it up at this cut line because I don't want to make the long version. And then, sorry, my fan's going and blowing this all crazy. Then I would just go ahead and um, put my pattern weights here and cut. Um, I will cut out the pattern itself first though. Um, you can use a rotary cutter or scissors just to cut out the pattern piece. Um, if you think you might be using the other sizes in the envelope, you might wanna trace your pattern then. Um, I'm probably not, so I'm just gonna go ahead and and cut the um, the pattern itself. Okay, I live dangerously, but if you live somewhere where you can't get patterns as readily as we can here in the U.S., you might want to go ahead and um, cut or trace your pattern. 
and the facings can be as you know just as we've done them um, because we haven't uh, changed the, the waistline any at all okay now that may be totally different for you and if you have questions as you go please feel free to post them in the comments because that's what I'm here for all right so I'll be making the same adjustment to this piece that I made to that piece, okay? And then the only other two pieces are facings, so those do not need to be changed. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out my skirt. Um, I'm going to read some comments first and see which, which way I should have it. Um, and so next time we'll have our skirts cut out, we will be ready to start sewing. Um, we'll be sewing um, a, uh, the darts, and then we'll be sewing the side seams, putting the zipper in one of the side seams, um, preparing the facings, and putting the facings in, and uh, hemming the skirt. So, should be a really, um, really easy project. All right, I'll be back um, next week, and we will pick up from there. All right, so I hope that helps you see how you can make sizing adjustments um, to your skirt pattern. And um, please uh, feel free to leave questions below or email me or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, I'm very excited to see what you guys are sewing. So be sure and use the hashtag Friday Sewing School on Instagram so that we can all see what each other is making. I hope you have a great weekend. It's going to be a weekend of fun and work around here. We've got a lot of uh, yard work to do, and uh, we are having a party here on Sunday for some church friends. So it'll be uh, it'll be a busy weekend, but um, I will see you all back here next week on Tuesday. Um, I have a, a special collaboration with um, Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. I'm very, I'm very excited to be um, doing a collaboration with Karina. She's become a very dear friend. So, so have a happy weekend and happy sewing.